What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Mo Street and today we have an interesting subject which is naked bikes versus super sport bikes. I'm gonna try to help you decide which bike to get, maybe a naked bike for your needs or a super sport. I know both bikes are great and each uh, bike has its own uh, unique features. I'm gonna hop on the bike and talk a little bit about what benefits each bike has over the other and maybe help you decide what suits you more. Well guys, as you can see, spring has finally arrived. It looks uh, a little bit too much for me, kind of 34 Celsius. It's really hot outside and it's not the best weather to ride a motorcycle, but I had to get this video in because I haven't uploaded in a while. Damn, it's too hot. I've been standing in the sun for about 30 minutes trying to take a couple of photos and do the intro for this video with my Sony camera and I am sweating so much, but this wind uh, kind of helps a little bit. So. The first thing that comes to mind on my mind when I talk about naked bikes versus super sport bikes is the aesthetics, the looks. I know each to his own. Uh, some people may like the naked bike and dislike the super sport bikes and they think that they are too much, maybe too aggressive. But in my opinion, super sport bikes look awesome. They look a lot better than naked bikes because they have all that beautifully designed aesthetically pleasing fairings and everything is closed up. Kind of looks like a like a war machine it looks like a missile it looks like it wants to fight all the time for example the r6 that i have every time i ride that bike i get a lot a lot of people looking at me uh, it's not a thing that i want necessarily but it's really eye-catching more than this uh, mt09 when i ride this mt09 yes people do look at it they're kind of confused uh, about what it is because it's really futuristic it's really different it doesn't look like any other bike on the market aesthetic wise uh, i think the Super sport bikes look a lot better than a naked bike, so I'll give one point to the super sport bikes. All right, the next thing to compare is the power. These bikes are almost similar in power. For example, this MT-09, I know it's a 900cc, but if you compare it to the R6, which has almost the same horsepower, this one being 119.5, and the R6 that I have is 117, 118. It's really similar, but the difference in power is where the power is. Uh, on these naked bikes, for example, on this three-cylinder MT-09, you could feel all the torque in the low revs. You don't have to get up to 10,000, 11,000 to feel the power, to feel the bike. All you have to do is just give it a little bit of gas, it goes so strong. All the torque, all the power. If you guys ride these bikes every day, if you ride them in the city, for example, you want that torque on, on the low revs, the bottom end, because let's say if you're trying to pass a car, you don't have to go down two gears to get up to 10,000 RPM in order to pass the car. For an example, I'm in third gear and my RPM is about 3,000 and I'm going 53. If I push it, this thing goes, it doesn't like tell you, no, wait, let me climb up the ladder and get to 10,000 so I can give you that power. The power is available all the time for daily riding, for street riding, city riding. The super sport bikes are unacceptable. So if you're a guy trying to reach top speeds and this is what you want in a bike, what you could actually buy is a super sport because the problem with naked bikes is that they are naked. They don't have the fairings, they don't have the protection, they don't have the windscreen big enough for you to hide behind it and avoid all the wind crashing at you. So for example, this bike can reach uh, about 234 kilometers an hour. It's ECU limited. There is an option for you to add a tune and disable that limitation, but still, Riding fast, riding those speeds on a naked bike is very uncomfortable. Yes, it does get up to 200, 234 relatively fast, but it's actually painful to stay at those speeds. It becomes unstable, it becomes very windy, and I think it's too dangerous for the rider. So and in comparison to the R6, the R6 can reach a great, beautiful speed of 260, 265 kilometers an hour. In order to reach those speeds, the bike needs to be aerodynamic. This one is not. The super sport bikes are with all the fairings and the windscreen. So reaching those high speeds is not an issue for these bikes. And I'm pretty sure the gearing is different, which makes the super sport bikes a lot better for top speeds. The super sport bikes are easier to lean. Yes, the M209 is very bottom heavy and you could actually move it very quickly on the road. And I think this is actually better for street use. 
super sport bikes are a little bit heavier they're medium all the weight is in the middle or on the top making them more stable a lot better in while leaning the bike trying to ride these two bikes back to back on the twisty roads i could say that the r6 is suited and it's better for twisty roads or track riding so if you want a bike that's perfect on the track and you want to ride it mostly on the track and not on the street i think the super sport bikes are the way to go so handling wise i give the super sport bikes a point And yeah, if you want to do wheelies, this is the bike to go. So if you want to ride a bike on the streets, I think that you should get a naked bike, especially something that has low end torque. Super sport bikes, as I mentioned previously, they don't have power in the low revs and you don't want to be in the city riding 10,000 RPMs. The bike will heat up, you'll make a lot of noise. It's actually not very comfortable and not very healthy for others around you and not for your bike. Naked bikes are a lot easier to maneuver inside the city. They have the power at the bottom end. They don't heat up as much as super sport bikes. Wind protection is not needed inside the city because you're not going that fast anyway and the seating position is not tucked in it's not aggressive like a super sport bike you're just sitting straight up well, let's do a u-turn here trust me if you ride in the city don't get a super sport it doesn't matter if it's an r6 r1 or any other super sport bike these machines are not built to be ridden in cities only on highways twisty roads or tracks and for a better street bike better commuting city bike i give the mt09 a point i hope i helped you guys make a decision on which bike to get naked or super sport uh thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment share and subscribe to my channel for more content and for those of you who stayed to the end i have a little update on my exhaust i ordered a dominator new gp exhaust without the mid silencer it was supposed to arrive two months ago it did arrive to the country and it got stuck in customs for about a month i tried to contact customs for a whole month back and forth talking about what happened to my package and suddenly out of nowhere they sent it back i was waiting for that exhaust to come i was very excited and it never arrived at my doorstep so what did arrive and what is arriving tomorrow is actually a an awesome helmet and an awesome backpack. I'm going to show you guys what they are. I'm going to make two videos this week. I'm thinking that the exhaust will be installed on my bike by the end of this month. I have to decide very soon whether to resend the Dominator or to buy an Akrapovich exhaust locally. Thank you so much for watching to the end and see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>